Hey there, you're watching Automotive Territory. What are the most versatile vehicles offered by the auto world these days? In our opinion, it is undoubtedly vans in all of their variations. Equip a van with a couple of seat rows in the back and you've got yourself a bus. Throw away everything and it's a perfect cargo vehicle for your business. Or you can even turn it into a house on wheels. Vans do sound perfect, but is there any way to improve these four-wheelers even further? Well, yes. Why not electrify them? In this episode, we'll be showing you the latest van newcomers, equipped with fully electric and plug-in powertrains that offer environmentally friendly driving, torquey performance and noiseless operation, not to disturb the ever grumpier inner city dwellers. But before we get to the episode, just a quick reminder to subscribe to our channel, you won't find another place for more informative top lists about cars. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes Vito Electric Drive We have known for a while now but Mercedes plans to electrify all of their vehicles by the year 2022, and the first commercial vehicle to receive the upgrade is the Evito van that gets released in 2018. The new Evito has the range of around 90 miles, that unfortunately drops to 60 miles while fully loaded. The electric motor, 113 horses strong, drains charge from a 41 kWh battery that takes 6 hours to recharge. The top speed is up to 75 miles per hour payload more than 2200 pounds or 1 ton and cargo volume is up to 210 cubic feet. Besides receiving the electric powertrain, Evito will be the first model to get geared up with new electronics to help the business monitor all of the vehicles and improve efficiency. The pricing starts at 40,000 euros or $48,000 with first delivery starting in the third quarter of 2018. Nissan Kambi ENV 200 while the electric SUV market seems to be gaining new and new members, the multi-purpose vehicle segment does not have many prominent autos. However, we have to highlight a rather obscure family vehicle that has avoided the media limelight and it is a Nissan ENV200 Combi. The CV utilizes the same technology that is already installed on thousands of electric Nissans around the globe, which is a 107 horsepower electric motor that is coupled with a 24 kWh battery that has 5 years or 60,000 miles warranty and good for 106 miles of range. The advanced route planner lets you use energy more efficiently and the real-life distance that Kambi can go manages just to remain within at least 70 miles. As of today, this is one of the most spacious passenger electric cars and it can fit up to 7 people. This automobile is a great seller in the UK and the pricing starts at £24,407 or around $32,000. Renault Kangoo ZE33 Already adopted by many postal and small package delivery services worldwide, this electric four-wheeler continues to win allegiance of the industry. It is compact, emission-free and very capable. Due to a 33 kWh battery, it has a solid range that in real road conditions reaches 124 miles in summer and 75 miles in winter. The car comes with a 7 kWh charger, which allows it to be fully recharged in 6 hours. To avoid spending the electric charge on warming the cabin, it has an optional autonomous diesel heater that only consumes up to 2 gallons of fuel per month. Unlike many other electric vans available on the market, Kangoo ZE33 takes advantage of the modern technologies. It has a range calculator, a voice control, a TomTom connected navigation system and has built-in Bluetooth and USB modules. Evaco Daily in order to compete on the tough market of short-range transportation, Eveco had to make their electric vans as versatile as possible and close every imaginable niche. The daily electric could be factory assembled to possess a body of a refrigerator, passenger shuttle, motorhome, dumpster or cargo truck. Depending on the chosen setup, it will be geared up with either an 80 or 107 horsepower motor and the standard battery should store enough charge for 175 miles. Cargo volume reaches 19.6 cubic meters or 700 cubic feet, and the gross weight cannot exceed 5.5 tons. If Evaco continues investing into development of their electric cargo vans, chances are that they will eventually push out IC models from this manufacturer's garage. Peugeot Partner Electric Available both in cargo and passenger versions, Partner Electric can handle a wide range of everyday tasks, commercial and personal. Depending on the modification, it accommodates from 3 to 5 people, 
and can be used for carpooling, active leisure, traveling with family, and transporting bulky loads. The interior of the van is completely modular. The seats can be folded to transform the cabin and allow more room for the cargo. With a 22.5 kWh battery, the range is estimated at 106 miles. Peugeot Partner Electric's unique feature is the phone, laptop or tablet operated remote control that can be used to regulate heating, air conditioning, control battery charge levels and determine charging time. Volkswagen ID Buzz After being presented for the first time at the Detroit Auto Show in 2017, ID Buzz has now been officially confirmed and scheduled for production in 2022. The Buzz is promised to be affordable for millions of people and not just the very rich. It will be based on the modular Electric Drive Kit XL platform with two motors on the front and rear axles. Each motor will have an output of 200 horsepower and combined will deliver around 400 horses. This allows Buzz ID to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds and reach the top speed of 100 miles per hour. One charge will take you 370 miles closer towards your destination. However, the true beauty of long trips on this MEV is the comfort, since driving could be entrusted to the 100% autonomous ID pilot. Renault Master ZE The French auto giant Renault extended the lineup of emission-free vehicles by introducing Master ZE, a medium-sized delivery van. This auto features a 33 kWh battery pack that will store enough energy for a 90 to 100 mile ride. The Master ZE will be equipped with a humble 76 horsepower electric motor, which will be enough to accelerate the van to 71 miles per hour. The cargo capacity of the electrified version has the same parameters as conventionally powered Masters, so it can carry up to 1.1 tons of load. The exterior design of this vehicle will not give away its electric nature. However, quiet and emission-free performance will let it operate within inner cities. So if you want to prepare your business for the future, consider the Master ZE, since the sales have already started in early 2018. Workhorse and Gen Established in 2007 as AMP Electric Vehicles, Workhorse has embarked on a journey of electrifying automobiles of different body types and purposes to reduce operation costs and ensure maximum efficiency. In an attempt to change how local deliveries are done today, the Ohio-based company developed Engen, a medium-sized all-electric van that is aimed to become a new word in the world of post and small packages delivery. Though its technical specifications have not been released yet, the truck is expected to have an all-wheel drive and a 100-mile standard electric range, come with an optional 65 miles range extender and a delivery drone that can be used for the to-the-door dispatch. The automobile is scheduled to be deployed in San Francisco Bay Area in April this year, as the first fleet of engines will be tested in the real road conditions. The company is also negotiating a deal with USPS for 50 tailor-made vehicles. Street Scooter Despite its name, German company Street Scooter actually specializes in building electric delivery vehicles and cargo trucks. Its signature product, Cold Work, is the ultimate commercial van for everyday use. Due to all-electric powertrain, it has low operating costs and is emission and maintenance-free. The van is available in two modifications, with max payload ranging from 16 to 2200 pounds and several body models, pure, pickup and box. The smaller version of the truck is equipped with a 20 kWh battery that can be recharged in 7 hours, and the more capable one, called L, has a 30 kWh battery recharged in 10 hours. Both vehicles allow for 73 miles of continuous driving and reach the max speed of 53 miles per hour. LDV EV80 LDV is the UK-based company currently owned by the Chinese corporation SAIC that revitalized the British car maker that has been on a hiatus for the past seven years. Yet, they're demonstrating a marvelous comeback with an all-electric cargo van LDV EV80. Up front, it carries a capable electric motor that yields 123 horses and 236 pound-feet of torque. The lithium-ion phosphate battery is not on the impressive spectrum, storing just 56 kWh, but it offers acceptable 130 miles of green driving. With a payload of 1 ton, LTV EV80 could become a rather hot seller for the last mile delivery needs on the British car market. Moya Moya is the newest company in the Volkswagen Group formed back in 2016, 
with a task to redefine urban mobility. The independent offices are located in Berlin, Hamburg and Helsinki, where besides the car design, special software is developed for ride hailing and ride pooling services. The first Moya autonomous vehicle is a six-passenger van with cozy interior, roomy individual seats, cabin LED lighting and Wi-Fi. At the moment, the company is concentrating on the development of the electric drive. The CV will have 186 miles range with 30 minutes 0 to 80% charging time. By the end of 2018, 200 Moya vans will hit German roads. All these vans qualify for government incentives that reach $8,000 and overall maintenance costs and fuel savings allow you to cut down on the transportation budget of your family or company truly significantly. Share your thoughts about vans going electric in the comments, watch videos suggested on this screen, like, share and subscribe for more videos about cars. May the torque be with you!